We are going to be transforming this oversized polo shirt into an off-the-shoulder top with circular sleeves. I got it for it was either 100 bob or 50 bob, which is one dollar or 50 cents. It has a bit of stretch, but not too much. Lay it flat on your table and take another t-shirt that fits you like a glove. Match the shoulder points of the t-shirt to the polo shirt. I did this in my last video where I measured to my natural waist from the shoulder point and marked. You can use a top that reaches up to your natural waist if you prefer that or leave it long if that's how you want it. I'll then mark that point and draw it out. Mark the sides of the t-shirt as well. Now draw the armhole following the curve of the t-shirt. Do that for both sides. Fold the shirt and mark below the first button of the polo shirt. Remove the t-shirt and draw a straight line across the point you just marked. Now cut it all out. Place the rest of the piece aside. Now take that extra piece and we only need the sleeves. So cut the collar and place it elsewhere. We don't need it anymore. Take your t-shirt and place the sleeve part of it on the polo shirt's sleeve like I'm doing. Try and make the armhole parts of the two match. The sleeve's head should also match. Now outline your t-shirt sleeve at the side and also at the armhole. Disclaimer, it will not look like a normal armhole. This one looks more like a straight or crooked line, but never mind. Lengthen the sleeve just like I'm doing here. Now cut the sleeve out while adding a bit of seam allowance. Place the sleeve you just cut on top of the other and use it as a template to cut. Here I'm trying to cut the armhole so it at least looks like one <laughs> to no avail. Now open the sleeve and measure the bottom like I'm doing. Then take that measurement and divide it by 3.14. What you get is the radius and it will help us in cutting the half circle sleeve. Take the bottom piece we cut from the polo shirt in the beginning and fold it in half. Cut the center front like I'm doing. Now take our beloved radius measurement and mark it from the center top point all round just like you see me doing here. I'm using this other side which is uncut. Then from the mark you just made, measure the length on one side. It will be a high-low type of situation, so one side is longer than the other. Then go to the other end and mark a shorter distance. Join the two in a curved line like I'm doing. You can do it a couple of times if you're not satisfied with the first outcome. That looks about right. Now cut out the bottom, then the top part. Turn the circle the right sides facing each other and now you want to stitch the side. Do the same for the other one. Take the sleeves, turn them to right sides facing each other and stitch the sides. Then take the top part, turn the pieces, see it with me now, right, right sides facing, facing each other. And stitch the sides. But now you know the drill. Now take all the pieces to the sewing machine. Join the pieces. Then join the sleeves to the top. I'm turning them back to normal because I find it easier to stitch the sleeves that way. At least for these ones. Match the seams and pin. Then stitch. We are also going to fold and stitch this part for the front and back. Now join the circle to the sleeve, pin and stitch.
okay we are done with that let's try it on so this part needs elastic the back too now you're probably wondering what is the off shoulder design which you clicked for so I'm going to fold back the sleeve just like that and cut out for both sides my intended design was this one on screen but it backfired so we went with an off shoulder design so we are going to start by marking where we want to cut then cut it out next I'm going to rip the folded edge I had done then add in elastic the elastic will be smaller than the area by a quarter or more depending on how tight you like it do the same for the back and the sleeves stitch while pulling the elastic now hem the bottom and the sleeves and you're done it fits much better at the chest and sleeve area now click on the playlist to watch more clothing transformations or the peplum top refashion i recently uploaded see you when i see you right sides facing each other and stitch the sides but now you know the drill